we left uh, one of our holiday songs out of the uh, holiday block, the holiday rock block that we just did <laughs> before. Uh, although technically it's not really a holiday song. It's called Thanksgiving. Ah, and it was written at the time of Thanksgiving. But it's not really about Thanksgiving. It is actually, we didn't realize it, but uh, at, when, when we're writing both of these, but we realized we are, it's part of what is a, a growing uh, song cycle involving pleading with uh, people named George who are creators of popular culture. <laughs> so, uh, it's George Nerd Rage music. So basically after this song we're going to write one about George Romero and then we'll be done. <laughs> Very brief story, 100% true story. Uh, we were in San Francisco a couple of weeks back and we have a, a friend named Bonnie who works at uh, Lucasfilm. Yay, Bonnie! Uh, and she took us on a tour of the whole Lucasfilm facility. It was really awesome. And uh, we saw all kinds of cool you know, models and, and uh, things that were built for the movies that we all know. Yeah, it was, it was a real sort of visit to all of, a bunch of the important touchstones of our childhood, basically. A lot of geeking out was in. And at the end of the afternoon, uh, there was a gift shop. And we went there and, and we're browsing around for a while in t-shirts and a lot of Jar Jar Binks mugs. Apparently those don't move very well. Go figure. <laughs> But the, uh, the, the Han Solo in Carbonite Ice Cube trays, we got the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Shits are awesome. Uh, so, at, but about ten minutes into our browsing around in this gift shop, we turn like that. Apparently, I only hold my arms like this. Only in gift shops. Apparently, I am a marionette. <laughs> you, you were laden with Jar Jar Binks dolls. I was. <laughs> we turn to our... It was actually what was to my right. And there... Literally three feet from us, George Lucas, just browsing through the gift shop, which he apparently does. There is this man, the face of so much ire on the internet and beyond, right there in front of us. And we had just written this song, and it was out there. Yeah, it had only been a couple of weeks or months. Would so, you like to know exactly what we said to him, with, given this golden opportunity? Yes. Yeah! yeah. Not a damn thing. Because dude is worth several hundred million dollars and can have us killed. Whisper. <laughs> and but, really, we'd said everything we needed to say in this song. <laughs> we did. It's, and it's, it's true. And we'll say it in this song now. This is, uh, yeah. So, so, so if you're in the audience, George Lucas, this is for you. Yeah. This is, we're singing this at you, man. It's called Thanksgiving. As this time of year comes round again, I find myself reflecting on all the things for which I'm grateful, like my family and friendships, and the fact my life is relatively free from pain and tragedy. There's so much I am thankful for, but still, if there's someone or something out there responsible for all of this and listening to me, thank them. Then I ask you, sir or madam, would you kindly tell George Lucas to stop screwing with our trilogy? And on behalf of all of us, say, George, please fucking stop. <laughs> for Kaylee, and I'm thankful I won't live to see the rise of the machines, and I'm thankful that Joss Whedon is directing the Avengers, and speaking of directors, hey there, George. A movie is a snapshot of the era it was made in, like a painting or a photograph, or even this song's lyrics, and we won't go back to change them. If Avengers ends up sucking, we'll just shrug, and then we'll go make something new. So fucking stop. <laughs> Everybody knows Darth Vader didn't say a goddamn word when he threw the Emperor down the Death Star to his reactor shaft. And everybody knows that Greedo never even fired. When Ha shoots first, it sets up his entire moral journey. Plus, it's cool. <laughs> I know that in the scheme of things, it's just a first world problem, and there's many more important issues. Even so, I'm asking you that if you're not too busy with the problems of the universe, and if you have a moment, I would sure appreciate if you'd drop in on me. 
Mr. Lucas. Maybe grab him by his neck beard and then vigorously shake him and say, George, it's very simple. Just release the goddamn Blu-rays with the versions we remember. Then shut up and take our money and then please, please fucking stop.